Hello, welcome to Dubai. I'm Steve Coleman. I work on the radio here in the United Arab Emirates. So they said to me, right, you can be the PR officer for the Dubai Chelsea Supporters Club. Don't know how much you know about the UAE, but it's effectively um, one country divided into seven counties, I suppose we could call them. You may have heard of uh, Sharjah, you may have heard of the capital Abu Dhabi, and then there's here, Dubai. You may recognize that little building over my shoulder there, the beautiful Burj Al Arab. Uh, one travel writer from the UK described it as the world's first seven-star hotel, and it's stuck. A lot of the top liners from around the world have visited and stayed there, uh, including some of our Chelsea uh, players as well. John Terry, Carla Cudicini, Adiga Johnson have all visited. And uh, you may recall the infamous um, Sven Joran Eriksson fake shake lark. That happened there as well. And we believe Jose Mourinho has actually slipped in and slipped out without us noticing too. Uh, the visits from football has all started with the Jumeirah Beach Hotel, which is actually placed directly in front of the Burj Al Arab. And uh, between the two, there are some beautiful hideaway villas, which a lot of the footballers come to. Michael Owen came about four years ago, and uh, he had one, two, three, four villas? No, seven villas. Brought the entire family, including Uncle Henry and Auntie Grace, or whoever, and a few dogs and pets, I think, as well. Now, this is the new attraction. It's absolutely stunning. It is the Madinat Jumeirah. It's built in the old Arabian style, but with lavish modern interior. It's absolutely beautiful. There's a theater, there's an arena, there's lots of restaurants, bars, clubs, and shopping is just uh, everywhere you go here. So, great place to come if you can't really get to the Burj Al Arab because you don't have Roman Abramovich's checkbook. Talking of which, Here's our treasurer and chairman. Hi Steve, I'm Joe, Joe Colville. I'm the treasurer of the Chelsea Supporters Club here in Dubai. This is Lee Spall, our chairman. Hiya. Yeah. We've, um, we've been out here a number of years now, Lee and I. Lee's been here, uh, oh, it must be about 11 years now, Lee. 11 and a half years now. 11 and a half years. I've been here just over four years. I head the uh, sales and marketing division for an aviation company uh, at the airport, of course. Um, and we just love it here, it's just great, but you wouldn't like it, so... Yeah, with the sunshine, 365 days a year. Being a child supporter out is quite difficult, because um, you've got to part with this weather all the time. You yeah. miss the games, but every game is on TV. So, we'll go down to our venue, which you'll see later, watch the game. Good atmosphere in there. Um, yeah, 11 and a half years I've been here. I don't think I want to come home quite yet. Well. I think he speaks for both of us there. Back to you, Steve. Thanks, lads. See you at the match later. Now, as Dubai Chelsea Supporters Club, we don't just meet for the matches. We meet for extracurricular activities like going out the desert, driving. We've got the Autodrome, which is a fantastic racetrack like Formula One cars we go out to. There's oh, just so many things we do here, uh, even if it's just going on the balcony of uh, Joe's place and having a barbecue there. You've seen it. It's fantastic there. Well, they said about three years ago, we've got this great new concept, and we all went, what? A ski slope in the middle of the desert. You've got to be joking, haven't you? Well, take a look at this. Absolutely stunning facility, which opened last October. Loads and loads of visitors have been here already. And whether you live here or you're just passing through, it's a perfect place to come. Three different levels of run, or if you don't fancy the skiing, you can actually just mess around with the snow and uh, go inside the igloo if you fancy it. Um, we all came here on Christmas Day morning, which was fantastic for us, when the temperature outside was 30 degrees Celsius. It's 42 today. Let's go and have a look. So when you finish your skiing and then maybe doing a bit of shopping at the Mall of the Emirates, head out on Sheikh Zayed Road to find out where we actually do come to watch the uh, football games. Uh, Sheikh Zayed Road, five lanes either side, massive great highway. It's like being in Los Angeles here. Uh, across from here, you can actually see the Dusit Hotel, wonderful landmark buildings here, uh, Shangri-La Hotel. Across over in that direction, we've got the biggest building in the world currently under construction, that's Burj Dubai. And then if you look down the other way, that's it, down Sheikh Zayed Road, there are the Emirates Towers, which we'll come to in just a moment or two. Great place that, great places, particularly on a Tuesday night, there's Scarlet's Ladies' Night, absolutely rammed full of Emirates Airlines girls, and it's a wonderful evening. Make a note of that one. One thing we haven't talked about is football. Uh, and oh, we were so lucky, 15 of us came back to watch the uh, Manchester United game, the last game at Stamford Bridge, obviously, when we saw the Premiership trophy. What a goal from Cole! How spectacular was that? And Cavallo's as well, good for him, did really, really well. So we've got the last match of the season tonight. Um, our location is somewhere slightly tucked away. We 
visited various places around Dubai to watch the matches, but as I say, Tuesday night's always ladies' night wherever you go, and some of the venues wouldn't let us have the live commentary on, you know, interrupt at 10.45 at night, a rocking, rocking night for the football. So uh, we found this one venue where he said, no, no problem, come whenever you like, we'll always put live commentary on. That's Fibber McGee's. It's round the back, as I say, from Emirates Towers, we've seen over here. Uh, across the road from Emirates Towers is a bank called the National Bank of Dubai. Across the back of the building uh, is where Fibber McGee's is. Now, we're on the 18th floor here, so if you suffer from vertigo, you better look away now. So for all you butch, brave people, come on, let's have a look over here. And I'll show you the car park. This is a place straight down there. See the, ooh, see the blue car, Chelsea Blue? That's the car park for Fibber McGee's. Uh, the back entrance is a place called the Diamond Club, but uh, it's that building there. All right, see you later for the match. Hope you enjoyed the match. Hope you enjoyed our little tour of Dubai and uh, hope to see you over here soon, getting yourself some sunshine. Uh, for me, Steve Coleman, have yourself a great summer. Can't wait for next season. Three in a row. Ta-ra.